Chairman Norton Elders Forum, NEF, Professor Anga Abdullahi, said on Tuesday that President Muhammad Bukhari is not fighting corruption in the country, saying prisons ought to be full by now if he is truly fighting it. Ango Abdullah has stated categorically that Nigeria has now seen corruption on a massive scale and nobody is doing anything about it. He stated this while fielding questions from journalists on Tuesday in Kaduna shortly after opening ceremony of a public lecture entitled Education as an Instrument for National Integration, the Northern Nigerian Crisis. According to the elder statesman, if President Buhari has committed to fighting corruption, the nation's courts and prisons would have been congested with corrupt politicians. He said many corrupt politicians are going about freely because APC has forgiven their sins, pointing out that the case of Senator Danjuma Goje, whose sin was allegedly forgiven by the APC. Now, joining us in the studio is a public affairs analyst, Dr. Femi Ido at Degoke. A pleasure to have you on the news. Good morning. Good morning. What is your immediate reaction to this? Well, my immediate reaction to that was to commend the elder statement for speaking out what I consider the truth. The federal government or the president came on the matrix of uh, fighting uh, corruption. But in the last four years, in his first uh, term, they haven't fought corruption, or he hasn't. The intention might be there, and like I always say, intention is not good enough. You might have good intention, but if you don't have the capacity and the capability and the competence to see that intention through, then you've done nothing. Uh, are you saying that uh, you concur completely with what he is saying, considering the fact that we've seen, you know, court cases in court? the EFCC coming up to say they've made a lot of wins and uh, just recently we had a former governor who was indicted for fraud. Yeah, one out of how many? That's, it. That's what in the uh, article or the story by the other statement, he mentioned one or two people that have been arrested or they are facing charges and he mentioned others who their crimes or their corruption cases are in the hair that everybody knows, and they've not been touched. And there is this general belief that once you move to uh, APC, your sins are forgiven. Uh, personally, I feel Mr. President has the good intention, but he, didn't, he has not thought it through or the implementation, proper implementation plan to fight this corruption. And in agreement with the uh, elder statement, he really, this administration is fighting corruption. A lot of our uh, politicians wouldn't return for second term. They should be in jail. And uh, for, uh, yesterday, the uh, Oji Uzo Kalu's case in the, is, 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 on, is at hand now. And we're seeing every, And yesterday, he's coming out to say he's sick, that he wants uh, to get bail on Ed Ground. And that, that, that's just the country we live in. We're not fighting corruption. We're so just what, dancing around what, it. what would be your recommendation to change this narrative? Because if this government says the fighting corruption, that's the mantra on which they came on board, yeah. how do you think they could fulfill this promise within the time frame left for this administration? Well, I know that Mr. President has a challenge because to institutionalize the fight against corruption is not just by EFCC. You need to put it in our constitution. And there has to be punitive measures. But what do we have? The people who are going to re uh, review the constitution, most of them are the corporate. So that's, that, I, I know that's, that's the, I guess at, at the time, that was one of the reasons why Mr. President was pushing for a special court. Because there are so many cases of corruption in court that are still dragging, dragging. Like Oji Zokalu's case, I read that he's been hung since 2007 and only 12 years down the line. And the man is still appealing when there are facts and figures that you are actually corrupt. So in my recommendation is first is, like the other statement said, we need a total reform. We need a total reform of our system. Can this happen within the time frame that they have left for this administration? We, it's four years. It can happen. We have four years. There are wires reports. There are several reports that we have that if the Mr. President really has the will, the willpower. Things can be done. Yes, he needs to bring these reports that we have on corruption on how to reform the country. He should bring them on board and let's begin to debate it. Thank you very much for coming on the news. You're welcome.